Hi, I'm Adam Mullinger, and today I'm here with Khaleesi Grimes82 from the show The Cringe to react to the new Birds of Prey trailer. Thanks, Michael. I am super pumped to watch this trailer. I just said my name was Adam. Regardless, let's fire up the trailer. I'm not sure what to think at this point. I'm not really sold on this whole concept, but hopefully I'll get something from the preview. Mm. You hate women. Cool. Harlequin is. Okay, uh, first off, right out of the gates, I love that they're explaining what her name means. So much depth in these DC movies, far more than you get in your average cookie cutter Marvel film, which I love, which are great, which I love, which are great. It's just there's a lot more depth in DC movies. Can we be honest? There just is. Uh, fun fact, a Harlequin is also a type of small duck. Some research I did a little bit ago on Google. You're a type of small duck. Okay, well, duck you. No, duck you! The Joker and I broke up. It appears this film will remind people of Jared Leto's Joker, which is a shame. Um, uh, <laughs> it's pronounced Jared Leto. More like Jared left out of this movie. That wasn't my best. I wasn't the only Damon Gotham looking for emancipation. Oh, she said emancipation. That's in the title of the movie. I love when they do that. It's so much fun. Everybody's having so much fun in this film. Do you think this narration's even gonna be in the final product? Shut up. I'm trying to watch the movie trailer that we're here to react to. Spectacular news. Oh my God, is that, is that one of her pet hyenas from the comics? Is that Ludo or Bud? I'm not sure. Either way, I would die for it. I love it already. You just shushed me and then proceeded to talk immediately after. Shut the duck up! Miss Queen, she belongs to me. Is she sharing a Twizzlers with her pet? <laughs> dead. I am literally dead. You're literally dead. It's an expression, gajag. You know, expressions, there are things that you say, there are also things on your face, which, by the way, yours looks like a piece of empty paper. So blank. White. Here's the deal, Quinn. Ewan McGregor's a solid villain choice. <laughs> I'm, I am desperately trying not to get triggered right now, but of course you mentioned the only man in the entire film. Ewan McGregor, when everybody here is perfectly cast, Everybody here is a solid choice, Adam. Oh my God, is she just, is she referencing Marilyn Monroe? L'eternité. Is my queen, Margot Robbie, pretending to be another queen? So that would make the Joker Kevin James, AKA the King of Queens. Kill yourself. Why are you here? Look at these girls, the, these women, the, these goddesses. The chemistry is out of control. That remains to be seen. <laughs> it's already being seen. It's already right there. Why don't you try watching this through the lens of your eyes and not your toxic masculinity? You can check that at the door upon entering this film because this film is full of strong female leads. It's about time. Not a fan of the harsh zoom there. I hope that's not a style that's gonna be present in this thing. Yeah, that's what it is. It's definitely not that your butt hurts because Harley just clapbacked on that guy's snap peas. First of all, she landed on his legs. Secondly, what? You just can't stand to see a strong, powerful woman take down a man. It's just killing you. It's eating you up inside. And you hate the movie for it. I just wanted to watch the trailer with you. It didn't have to be political or sexist or whatever this is supposed to be, which is often how this goes now online. You're labeled one way or the other. You can't just like or dislike a movie trailer or a movie based on its merits. There has to be something underlying. There has to be a deeper agenda to make people feel good about their crappy opinions. It doesn't have to be this way. Yes, it does. Everything needs to be political now. Everything. Here's a question. Did you like Rambo Last Blood? Not particularly, no. And was that based on the merit of the movie or the fact that you're a cuckold soy boy? I think you have the roles reversed, but let's move on. Not oh, yes! 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 Oh my god, I can't even, 
I'm dying watching this. She said it. She said Mr. J just like she does in the comics, just like she does in the TV series, just like she does in the video games. I cannot believe the Queen Margot has done it. This is going to be the greatest movie of my generation! First impressions, this looks like it's gonna range anywhere from pretty good to completely awful. Is the cinematography too realistic for you? Not enough Disney logos bouncing off green screens? Which I love, which are great. I do agree, this has some wonderful visuals. It looks a little bit more gritty and realistic. And yeah, there's not a lot of over-reliance on CG, which is refreshing. You also have the Joker coming out, which does the same thing. Uh, yeah, this is a new era for DC, and I hope that it's one that works this time. Look at this cast! It's everything! This is how people react! What are you talking about? For me, William? Okay, that ending was lame. That's what she said, and I love this trailer. It's edgy, it's comedy, it's got everything I look for, every flavor of the rainbow I want in a film. And dare I say it kind of reminds me of the criminally underrated Suicide Squad. If anything, it's overrated. It has like 27% on Rotten Tomatoes. So yes, overrated. I'm Khaleesi Grimes 82. Thank you for watching me react to what will undoubtedly be another feather in the DCEU's cap. <laughs> or should I say cape? Because <laughs> superheroes. Feather in the cape? If you want to continue to watch movies by a complete stick in the mud, subscribe here to Adam Does Movies. If, however, you'd like a little bit more life in your content, head on over to youtube.com slash Adam Olinger and watch me on my own special show, The Cringe. There's a lot of videos there. They're awesome. It's cool beans. You'll love it. Thanks for watching whatever this was. I do intend on going to see this when it comes out. This didn't really sway me. I, I'm still just kind of indifferent. I hated the Suicide Squad. This does have some shades of it. Uh, I know it's probably not going to be anywhere near that bad, but you just never know. I do like uh, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. I just can't sit through another Suicide Squad.